So when it comes to academic writing, what are the benefits? Now, if you're someone in the audience who doesn't, um, you know, kind of speak English or use English as a first language, as your native language, you'll be very familiar with this. And research uh, has shown that it can take as much as 51% more time to write if English is not your first language. And that's where tools like generative AI can just come in. They can simplify it. Uh, they can make taking ideas that you have and converting them into a language that might not be as familiar to you, that's English, uh, in a very clear, concise, crisp format. And we've had users of PaperPal you know, in Japan who've shared their experiences where it's so natural for them to think about ideas and what they want to say in Japanese. They've written it in Japanese, used PaperPal, translated it, and then you know, kind of used language uh, suggestions, They've kind of used the grammar corrections as well as the rewrite capabilities and then converted it to you know fluent sentences so this is the power of what something that could take you know one hour uh, could be done in five minutes um so definitely a strong advantage uh, for non-native speakers even if english is your first language and you're comfortable with it there's just a lot of writing that happens so the study talked about how academics kind of need to write so many different things journal papers, conference papers, thesis. If you're a student, you're writing essays, critiques, statements, SOPs. Now, all of this takes time. So you're writing daily, you're writing weekly. Um, and there are many, many barriers to writing. And some of these are skill and technical based, but many of these are actually psychological. So you have distractions, you have writer's block, just motivation, you have so many conflicting priorities. And this is where AI has um, you know, a beautiful role to play. Um, and this is what we call augmented intelligence. So it's it can augment your way of writing, uh, what you really want to do with your writing. And we'll talk more about it. But to really know how AI can augment your writing, it's important for us to take a quick step back and look at how does generative AI really work? Now, generative AI, as many of you might know, uh, works in large language model technology. Now, if you look at quickly the graphics in the screen, uh, what it does is it kind of breaks down sentences, understands context, and this is at a massive scale, and then basically predicts um, you know, how sentences can be written. And by doing so, it can create plausible, sophisticated text at a level that sort of mimics human ability. Uh, so as one of another AI proponent, you know, kind of quoted to quote him in a conference, he said, it's just Wordle on steroids. Now, if you have a technology that is so great at predicting how to write, um, it is using its knowledge, its latent knowledge. Now, in this scenario, it cannot replace or create original research ideas or content, but it can augment, and it can augment your academic writing. Now, in what ways can it do that? So the first thing, uh, as I like to say, is machines are really great at doing the boring, repetitive stuff. So if you've used PaperPal already, or if you haven't, you can see that what it can do is across your essay, across your paper, if you've written something inconsistently, it can flag those up and you know, in one click, you can fix it really quickly. Similarly, um, a lot of us, whether we're writing academic text or otherwise, struggle with you know, starting off that first line, that first paragraph. And with generative tools, you can really solve that problem. Uh, they're great at providing structure. They're great at providing a starting point. Uh, in PaperPal, you can use something called an outline generation, and we'll see a demo of it today, where it can help you write an introduction on an article by giving you a framework, a scaffolding. Uh, let's say you've you know got your idea, you've put down the sentence, but you know it just doesn't sound right. You can use things like rewrite, and you can try it out five different ways and see what's the best way to say it. And that's the power of how generative AI can augment what you really want to be writing.